here we go for day five. Uh, this was a hard day because I knew I was going to document the last three days of violence, and I didn't know how I was going to do that. Uh, so I started to look through some of my images, and I found this set of wings. Um, I'm going to insert a picture here. This is what they looked like before. And I played around with that for a while, and that still didn't seem exactly right. So I went through more of my images, and I found one by Leslie Wood, who I've used before. Um, I, I, she does a lot in Somerset Magazine. This is one of her images, and I, I like her work. Anyway, so I found one of her images that I had cut out, and uh, I ended up coming up with this. So here are the wings in the background. I still wanted to use those. And then this is the image from Leslie. And what I did was I dropped hearts down on little strings. There are seven of them, five for the Dallas police officers, one for the young man in Baton Rouge, and the other one for the young man in St. Paul. And uh, this Darkness Falls was a um, um, phrase that I'd seen in Somerset Magazine. And then I journaled and just added a few things um, um, just to state my feelings. Put a heart on her and <clears throat> made it look like it was broken. Um, and I think that's pretty, I colored up her eyes just so there was a little bit of color there. Really didn't want to do a lot to it. I wanted to document this. These are the things that are sometimes hard to do, but I think it's really helpful to do them. One, it, it reminds you. Two, it helps you work through it. You know, it, just creating this little thing right here because I can't draw, I have to rely on images, you know, really helps to, I don't know, just just makes you feel a little better and um, and kind of work through it. So anyway, that's what I did for today. And you can see I've got um, really just two more days that I'm going to put in here. Um, and so it'll be just something small that goes in those days. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, another thing I did yesterday, I had mentioned that I was going to maybe put this on the cover. Well, I did it. Um, I distressed it and <laughs> I lost, remember I, there was a little piece of uh, a header that said, come inside. Well, I cannot find that for the life of me on my desk. So I just did this playing with paper, just cut it into a banner, put a piece of washi tape, which you can't really see, but it's, it's there behind it. And again, I did the same thing that I did before. I used the Liquitex matte medium over it and sanded it, and then I just waxed it. So it's it's got that great same feeling as everything else. So um, I'm happy with it. I like it. It brings just a little bit of color, and I think it's perfect. Uh, Terry had asked if I would show how I store my collage material or my all my images. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if I should show you this, but I'm going to. So here's how I store my letters. Okay, this is the most organized I am on anything. So I just store my letters in this. These are like uh, baseball card things, I think. Maybe business cards, I'm not sure. But I just keep them in here. And then phrases and things like that. I used to keep them in here. Um, and that was kind of hard now, oh, okay, here we go. I keep them in, <laughs> in an envelope, and the envelope uh, broke. So I'm going to have to uh, redo this. But I keep them in here, so I just go through them if there's something specific that I am looking for. Okay, there's that. The other thing that I do is, I mentioned, I think I've even shown this before. This is an iris box. And these are images that are already basically ready to use. I might cut them out and just throw them in here. And then I'll kind of dig through this. I like digging through and finding images. There's another Leslie Wood. Can you tell I like her a lot? <laughs> um, so 
I I keep those in here and they're they're at the ready whenever I think I might want to um, you know look for something in particular so those are in there and then the other way I keep them is in file folders and these are not all of them but you can see I have a lot um, these are mostly all summer set so I'll just keep them there's no reason I really keep them separate but they just sort of ended up that way so those are my summer sets and then this is called interesting pictures so things that I just think are kind of unique and I like um, I put them in here don't know when I'm going to use them you, probably, you saw that before so pretty much keep those there and then this is interesting backgrounds and this is more for um, I, I use it in my journal here sometimes if I need uh, washi tape or circles or some or even just a background I'll use those in here but I also will use them in my um, art journal which I've not shown you guys but um, so that's that's a lot of these and then but there's still good images in there for this um, journal. And then this is called Faces. And many of you uh, may have seen, I did a video on one of my books. Um, and I do half faces. Let me show you. And I, I don't know why, I just, I really love cutting faces in half. So this is just a composition notebook. And... Um, I just cut the faces in half and then glue them in here. It's just, you know, a lot of collage work, really. So um, there's that. And so this is all just my faces. And I will sometimes go to this if I need something as well. Um, but generally, I'll use it for that collage medium. So I just have all different kinds of faces in here. And then I have further categories that I didn't bring out here that are... Uh, legs and arms and food and animals and things like that. So uh, I do try and categorize them and keep them somewhat organized. Um, so that, I think, is it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.